Ergon and Sebei regions have become the pathways of human trafficking in the country. This was revealed by the Commissioner and Human Trafficking Task Force Moses Vinoga in a training workshop in Bali District. One of the major intentions of targeting this region is, is one of the areas which have been serving as a transit point and sometimes as a source of victims of trafficking, both children and adults. And, uh, and uh, we have had so many incidents of especially Ugandan youth uh, being trafficked to other foreign countries through the borders, the common borders with Kenya. In order to curb the vice, the Internal Affairs Ministry is training security and judicial officers on effective application of the law against human trafficking. Police says victims of human trafficking are mainly coming from the districts of Manafa, Namisindwa, and Bududa. The border was cancer, but it is very hard. These victims, they are desperate. You get those victims, you try to explain what is going on, but you find they are telling you that, please, let me try my luck. In the training that took place in Mbali, security personnel were accused of aiding human trafficking. Even some of our own were promoting it. It's crime. The promoters normally come with a lot of money. They have coordinators. We find leaders, they are fighting for you. In fact, for me, I'm on the line of being poisoned. Over intercepting those victims, I'm making them not to get what they, are, they, are, they used to get. There are some officials in the, the sub region, especially in Rakaka, who were involved in, in promoting trafficking. And this was some time back. And as we talk, uh, uh, these officers have been transferred from there. And as you heard, a briefing from the officer from the region, uh, others are being investigated on that. Ruaha border has become a transport point and the victims are usually taken to Oman.